I feel like I'll always live in fear. I don't think I'll ever be free. Sadie, not her real name, was abused in her home for a decade. He hid in the boot of my car. He'd rock up at work. He put cameras on the house. He locked us in the house. Her ex-partner eventually left, but kept coming back. He was arrested, but then released on bail. And then one night, Sadie says everything changed. Me and my son were lying on the sofa, watching telly. I just saw him out the corner of my eye. He came back to the house, but this time armed with weapons and with petrol. Sadie rung the police. When we saw the blue lights, he went crackers, obviously. Poured petrol all over the hallway, all the way up the stairs, all the way up the landing. And he had a lighter. He was constantly flicking a lighter. As emergency services lined the streets outside, Sadie tried to escape with her son. I got to the bottom of the stairs and I've turned around. He's got my son at the top of the stairs and he had a knife to his throat and he were like, come back in or I can't see it. Sorry. They survived. He went to prison for three years, half of his sentence. But still from there, he repeatedly broke his restraining order. And now he's out on licence. I feel like I'll always live in fear. I don't think I'll ever be free.